What's up everybody, NEXT here. Welcome to Adept Expeditions. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe now and be sure to click the bell icon for notifications. I have a special report video here for you today. This is in light of the breaking news of how a 3,000 year old lost golden city was discovered in Egypt. Betsy Bryan, professor of Egyptology at John Hopkins University is calling this the second most important archeological discovery since the tomb of Tutankhamun. And archeologists believe that further excavations of this area will reveal more about what truly happened 3,500 years ago in Egypt. Now others here on YouTube, such as Matt at Ancient Architects and Chuck at the CFAP's YouTube channel have already covered this. In fact, I believe Chuck has already called attention to this area in past videos. The reason for this unexpected upload is because so far all we've seen are photos from the site, so I wanted to show you some exclusive footage taken today. I have members from my Adept Expeditions team on the ground right now and we'd like to show you some video of the site. We have our Adept Expeditions correspondent, Madam Khadija Haman, reporting on the ground in Egypt right now, live and direct from the site of the 3,000 year old Lost Golden City. Take it away, Khadija. Good morning, everybody. This is Khadija. I am now at the city of Aten. This is the new discovery just found by the team of Dr. Hawass. And you can see where it's located and how awesome it is. I'm coming closer so you can see. Look at it. It's almost perfectly preserved. You can see where it is in relationship to the, the great mountain here, which is called the Mountain of Silence. The Mountain of Silence is called Merit Seeger, She Who Loves the Silence. It's really located not too far from the road here, where the temple used to come all the way over this way, and over this way, I'm just panning around. In this direction, there was a temple built to Amenhotep, son of Hafu. Now, this building, uh, this, uh, sorry, it's a complete village, it's a complete city. Um, Amenhotep III was the father of Akhenaten, and he was called Amenhotep the Magnificent. And uh, his gave birth, his wife Tiyi, the great queen, they gave birth to this beautiful, fantastic uh, young man named Akhenaten. But they also had a young son. His name was Tutmosis the fifth. He was supposed to be in line to rule, but unfortunately he must have passed away because Akhenaten wound up actually ruling. Um, I'm just doing some panning here and I'm going to go down into it if they let me. I have to ask permission for that. I'm sure they'll let me and then I'll film some more for you. Anyway, this is my speciality, the time of uh, Tutmosis, uh, sorry, um, Amenhotep III and his great queen Tiyi and the 18th dynasty. Uh, I've written three books about it. One is called Queen Kia, who was the secondary wife of Akhenaten. Another one's called Sun Dreamer, a romantic love story about King Akhenaten. And the other one is called Pamu. Now, Pamu is a story of a cat who saves the, the baby Jesus, but goes back all the way to Tut's time when he was Tut's friend and, and companion. So this all means a lot to me, especially that they found it here. What they're saying is that no one found this. They had no idea this was here. And uh, the, uh, it's been covered up and we're laughing our heads off because the Egyptians found it. So they've been ripped off so many times by so many different, uh, unfortunately, different, uh, what do you call, um, people from other countries coming in and raping the Nile and so now they're very jealous of their beautiful country and they really are not letting a lot of people work here now for good reason they don't want people ripping it off so in any case here it is and they're just starting it I'm gonna walk around now I can often
Well, I hope you enjoyed this exclusive special report with never before seen footage of the lost golden city of Egypt filmed today on site. Whether it's the second most important archaeological discovery since the tomb of Tutankhamun remains to be seen, but without question, it marks an incredible discovery for Egypt. As you can see from my team's footage, the city is well preserved. You can still see pieces of pottery in situ. One can only imagine what more we can learn from this site. Archaeologists have been working on it since September 2020. Giving consideration to what we've seen in the video footage from my correspondent today, I'd like to know how long that this site has actually been exposed. Was it just dug up last year? How, how much activity has gone on at the site before the September 2020 excavation? Because it is absolutely remarkable what we're seeing in the footage, how the pottery is still there intact. There are still more questions to be answered here, and these new discoveries are certainly right on time. These discoveries that continue to happen in Egypt as tourism is starting to come back to Egypt. That said, just a reminder about how you can join myself and renowned engineer and master craftsman Christopher Dunn for the Lost Technologies and Symbolism Tour of Egypt that's taking place this September. Spaces are already filling up, but we do have a few spaces left, so now is the time to register. You can do that at adeptexpeditions.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let me know what you noticed in the video, if you have observed anything, and let me know what you think about the discovery in general in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive close-up footage on site. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe now.